Welcome back to Instant Replay Live, Rachel's Typing of the Dead. What is your favorite Overkill. revenge fantasy, Nick? Ooh. I... <laughs> I live out a lot of revenge fantasies in my head, Tab, when you get there. Um, but I guess I don't really have, like, specific ones that I hold on to. Like, I think playing them out in my head is how I cope with whatever revenge I want, and then I'm done. Like, imagination's good enough, you know? Hmm, all right. Um, so, I guess... Did you see then I start looking at, like, revenge fantasy movies to fill that in. Man on Fire was a pretty decent movie. I've never seen that. It was alright. It was good. It was... Had a good ending that, you like... You know what was beautiful? A powerful ending. <laughs> you know what was beautiful? You know what was better? <laughs> you know what was uh, as far as a revenge movie went? Tell me, Dread old, Kitten. Old boy. You're oh, I never again. saw that. Yeah, stop dying. Oh, man. I, I never saw it. It's really good. Um, the um, original. I didn't see the American remake. Hmm. Um. So, but didn't it have, like, I don't know, weird elements that are just uncomfortable? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, yeah. But I, as far as revenge goes, I mean... <laughs> you need to go as far as revenge goes, jubilant yodeling, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't screw somebody up much more than, you know, what happens in that movie. Yeah. Or if you can, I... Are you avoiding spoilers? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's probably for the best. Um, the American one, I understand not to have the same... I... I'm almost disappointed by that, but I but haven't But you heard seen that, it. too? Um, I think you might have said that to me. Hmm. Because I don't know if it's true. I'm yawning again. Yeah. I don't know if it's true. Um, it's a good movie, by the way. So that's your favorite revenge fantasy movie? Uh, probably. It's it's the one, the one that comes to mind at the moment. Yeah. There, I mean, any any revenge fantasy movie kind of works for me. Um, what was the one... There's one where you're not supposed to side with the, the villain. Um, I think Russell Crowe was the main character, and he's like a genius engineer slash just murderer and they're trying to track down how he commits all of his crimes and mm -hmm. you're supposed to kind of want him to lose but he's murdering people who like murdered his family or something i don't know does seven count as a revenge movie yeah probably that's a good one too yeah uh, does it actually i don't know i don't know I, uh, he was jealous? Yeah, I don't think that counts. Alright. Now that I've given it a second thought. Sure, I guess that guy hadn't done anything to him specifically. Right. So yeah, no, that doesn't count. But, um... But yeah, that, that movie, like, I was really upset that, like... Whatever that movie was, sorry to talk about a movie that <laughs> I have no, no way of giving you a point of reference to. Yeah, I wish I knew what it was. Russell Crowe. That's the best like okay. way to it's find out. It's not the out. math movie where he's... No, like not a beautiful mind. <laughs> I didn't see that one either. Oh, really? Yeah. That's surprising. It seems like it's the kind of movie you would see. Um, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah I'd watch it again. Uh, maybe. I, I hardly ever rewatch movies. It's true. <laughs> it's uh, Maybe I wouldn't watch it again, but I would recommend it to you. <laughs> it's on the list. <laughs> um, it's a big list. Yeah. How many movies are on... No, have we talked about that before already? I don't think so. I think we might have, but go ahead and say. How many movies are on your Netflix queue? Which one? Uh, well, tell us each. Um, the instant queue is something like 300 or 350. 350. Um, the, uh... The DVD queue is at 500, and I have a list of other movies to add to it, but you can't have more than 500 at a time. Oh, yeah. I, I think we might have said that already. <laughs> I don't remember. We're, we're definitely running low. It, it's a weird thing, because, like, when I'm talking to other people on the show, I have some shared history with some of them, or no shared history. But there's a lot of, like, unknown ground to cover. Mm -hmm. But with you and I, we talk about so much stuff all the time. Right. That it's like, have we talked about that on the show? Did we already talk about it? 
Right. Is it interesting? Because I already know it, so it's probably not interesting. But what we don't necessarily find interesting could be interesting to someone else. Yeah. You know, like, so it's like figuring out the things that are okay to talk about is, is extra difficult, I think. Right. Between us versus other people. Um, outside of us. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, the, as far as the cue goes, it's, you know, if I see a movie that looks interesting... You just add it I right just off. add it, because yeah. I don't want to forget later that I thought it looked interesting. Yeah. Oh boy, more cutscene. Oh good. Yay. Also, I saw Joe come out of his room and then duck back in. I think he maybe thought we were done recording. <laughs> um... Look, he's a bad guy. Surprise! Yeah, right? <laughs> Just that... Did you see that pose he was giving? No. It was like a Mick Jagger... No, no. He had his, like... His his wrist bent weird and he, threw his head forward and tips back. He's got like Jagger. He's, he's got something like that. <laughs> um, he looks kind of like a, an actor whose name I can't remember. Um, oh, he looks a little bit... Like, um, Fred, the the old guy that was in, like, The Way You Could Fly, and, um... I have no... God, I can't stop yawning. I'm tired. And he was in Pet Cemetery. Well, I mean, he's got the hair, like, Stephen King actually no. had in Pet Cemetery. The old guy. The, the old guy. The, the was the neighbor, and he, like, told him about the Pet cemetery. He's got those fingers, like that guy you referenced in, like, the first or second episode. Yeah. Uh, whatever, Doug Jones. Jones. Yeah, Doug Jones. Um, super long fingers. Did he just fry Awkward. the girl, or the guy? No, he fried girl? the guy. You can't oh, fry okay. the girl, because she's a main character. Oh. Obvi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're too important. But somebody else, yeah. You can't worry. You don't have to worry about him. Is he going to pee again? <laughs> he's like grabbing at his junk. He should probably not pee while he's touching electrical things. Yeah, I have a feeling that his urine will be his his downfall. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's something to say about that, but I just... It, it's not coming to me right now. This okay. is terrible. Help. God, all these cutscenes. Yeah. What is... Who is this now? We don't need more characters. I think it's that characters. other stripper. Is it? She's all bloody. Oh. Oh, nope, nope. nope, nope. I was wrong. <laughs> she has a mustache? Um, it's Isaac Washington. Okay, so it's... No, the... that's his mom? Yeah, and she had, like, zombies who were carrying her around. Why do they have connections to the zombies? Or should we he's, pay attention to these stories? Should zombie. we care? Yeah, but, like... Did... Aww. You know what's a good movie was Fido? <laughs> Feckless piss ant. Oh, you just spit on me. Well, that's gonna be your downfall. Ugh. Um, Fido was a good zombie movie. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. Um, I'm trying to read this thrilling story and it's learn true. about the bullshit. I stink, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. So I kind of stink too. I used your deodorant. Oh no, you used one. It doesn't even work very well. No, that's the problem. It smells it smells nice. Yeah, you ordered hippie deodorant. I did, and now I smell like patchouli and body odor, so yeah. I guess I got what I ordered. Yeah, it was a mistake, and I ran out, so I used yours. And, uh, boy, never again. Oh, I oh, do like whoa. the way it smells. No, she's just... Wait, excuse me? Excuse me. Huh. She thinks... That girl has small breasts. Grandma must like them real big. That's... She should go back to that, that giant zombie. <laughs> yeah. First... Uh, well, second... First girl episode, I guess. The first... Ew. Yeah. It's like that. Oh, man. Oh, I gave her a heart attack. Wait! <laughs> oh. Also, okay, so this is a trend in zombie video games. Yeah. Overly complex, goofy-ass plots like this. Like, why... Okay. Why can't it just be about the core of survival and, like, zombies? Is there a well-done one, would you say? Well, like Resident Evil, people could argue that's a well-done series, but they do all of this stuff, too. But, I mean, one that you think is more just about, like... Oh, what you about the root of what zombies are? Oh, well, like, right. 
like Dawn of the Dead or you know the, the movies, not the video right. games. Yeah, like those are the things that that get it right. Mm-hmm. And these just, I mean, this. <laughs> right. <laughs> this shit. Right. What is this? I don't know, Why? but I think there's more cutscene in this game than actual game. There definitely is. There definitely is, and oh, well, at least they're fucking each other up. Because you know, when you so make... then do we only have to fight one of them? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> that could be good, I guess. And it, they they clearly didn't want to model two of them. They gave them the exact same right. tattoos and body proportions because it would have been too much work to to make two of them. So, hmm. well, we're gonna find out more about this guy. Guess when? Next time. Because this entire episode has been a cutscene. Yep. Sorry, guys. Has it genuinely? Did I we just so. talk over a cutscene the entire time? I'm. Uh, yeah. I think we did. I think we did. All right. Next time on Instant Cut Play Live. Cut. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, pause. Pause it. Help. Thanks. <laughs> You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.